to experience the best realistic sound in your Android phone, you must need some good mod or equalizer. And Dolby is one of them in topmost categories for best sound experience. So hello friends, this is VJ back again with a new interesting video. And in this video of mine, I will tell you the easiest way to install the best Dolby Atmos on your device which is running on Marshmallow, Nougat or above. So watch this video properly till end in order to know how to do it successfully and don't forget to hit that like button if you like my work. You can also subscribe to my channel by pressing the red button below this video in order to get more interesting videos like this. So guys without wasting any further time let's start this video. So all you need is TWRP or some other custom recovery installed on your device and it is device specific so you need to google it for your device. And after that you need to download some file from this page and I will provide the link to this page in the description box below so make sure you go to the description of this video and check out the links. So here are the list of Dolby Atmos which are ported from Lee TV, BQ and ZTE phone and also Lenovo phone. So as you can see that the first one is from Lenovo A7000 and if you want to download this Dolby Atmos you can simply click on this download button over here. And if you want to download Lico Lee Pro's 3 Atmos you can download from here. And similarly for Lico Lee Max 2 Atmos you can download from here. And from PQ Aquarius X5 Atmos you can download from here. And the best is ZTE Exxon 7 Atmos and it might not work on every device. So you can download this from here and you can try it on your device. And this is the universal Dolby Atmos installer and what it does is if you install any Dolby Atmos and it does not work on your device then you can simply flash this file and you can download the file from here and you can simply flash the file so it will uninstall the Dolby Atmos which is not working on your device so that it will not create any problem with your Android device. So after downloading the file you need to copy those files to your phone's internal storage or to your external SD card. So first of all I will show you which android version I am running on and as you can see that I am running on this android version 7.0 which is nougat version. So now the next thing which I will do is I will reboot my phone into recovery. And I have this TWRP recovery installed on my mobile as you can see. So now you have to click on this install button and you have to locate the file where you have downloaded it. So as you can see that I have downloaded these three Dolby Atmos ported from different devices plus the dxuninstaller.zip file which will uninstall that Dolby Atmos if something goes wrong. So now first of all I will install this DX Libro 3 version 2.4.zip file and let's see whether it works or not in my device. Once it will be installed successfully you just need to reboot your device. So now the phone has been booted up and let's see whether the Dolby Atmos works or not. So I will go to Dolby Atmos and I will click on it and it is loading as you can see. And it says Dolby Atmos has stopped. So it means it does not work on my device. So now I will flash another file so let's see whether it works or not. So one thing you have to be careful for is that before installing another Dolby Atmos you need to flash this uninstaller.zip file so that it will delete or uninstall the Dolby Atmos which did not work on your device. So once the uninstallation process ends you can flash another Dolby Atmos file. So now I will try this DAX A7000 6.5 version 2.4 zip file and let's see whether it works or not. Once it will be installed successfully you just need to reboot your device. So now the phone has been booted up and let's see whether the Dolby Atmos works fine or not. So you need to click on it and it's loading as you can see and it has been loaded so it means it has been successfully installed on your device so now i will play any music and let's see whether it works or not
so now as you can see that this Dolby Atmos is working perfectly fine with my device. And the best part is that it will even boost your system sound plus it will also work with YouTube. So guys this was all about this video and I hope so you like this video and if so hit that like button and if you have any kind of queries just comment down in the comment section below. Also you can get connected to me over Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and I will provide the link for the same in the description box below. So guys this is VJ signing off and I hope to see you in my next video.